Our next assumption is the assumption of homoscedasticity. Okay, that's a, that's a fancy word that statisticians, lo statisticians love to throw around. Uh, and here's what it means. It means that for each set of values of the IV, the variance of errors is constant, right? So, so what's that mean? Again, for any given, ah, that marker, we consider x and y. For any given value of x, so we take any given value of x, say this one right here, there is some spread of error around our expected value of y. Right? So for that value of x, there is only one expected value of y. And then there is some spread of errors around that expected value for each people, right? Because different people at this level of x may have different values of y. The idea here is that this, that spread, that variance of, uh, of y minus y hat, the variance of the residuals for any particular value of x, should be constant across all values of x. And that is homoscedasticity. When we have heteroscedasticity, what that really means is that we have a moderator problem. So we would typically see that we may have this scatter plot going on, but it turns out that this is one value and this is some other value of x, right? So that's a case of, of, of missing a moderator variable and what we call a heteroscedasticity, which means that the variance of x is not constant for all, or the, the variance of the residuals is not, and the prediction errors is not constant for all values of x. Uh, and again, our estimate is still kind of the same, but it's definitely a sign that we're missing a moderator variable.